Hey, this is Bobby from BrewHardware.com with a quick overview video of the Blickman Brew Commander temperature probe and installation accessories. Now, the Brew Commander's temperature probe is a long cable with a 3.5 millimeter plug on the end that goes into the controller, and then this probe end goes into your kettle or your process flow. It's about four inches long before the 90 degree bend and about a quarter inch diameter. This is liquid tight already, so if you have a means to install a quarter inch something into like a thermal well that you already have, you can just slide that in. But it does come with an install fitting standard with the controller, so you can get everything here. And this is just a weldless bulkhead, so you drill a half inch hole in your kettle, and you're going to put it through the wall of the kettle, and this part goes on the inside, and this part goes outside. So you just tighten that up. It's got gaskets. It seals very well. There's no problems with leakage with this unless you grossly over drill the hole larger than a half inch. Once uh, this is installed, you loosen up the knurl on here and you slide this probe in to the, whatever depth you want. And then you just tighten this up until it's snug and then it holds the probe sticks inside the kettle and now the brew commander knows what temperature it is inside your kettle so this would go into like a boil kettle or hot liquor tank for example now there are some accessories to be aware of uh, if you already have like a half inch female MPT in your kettle um, Blickman sells an adapter fitting so that you can take this um, back nut off you'll thread this into into here and then thread this into your half inch thermometer port for example uh, that's a separate accessory that Blickman sells also if you have a tri-clamp port uh, they have this adapter plate to go to inch and a half tri-clamp so this whole fitting gets used for that you put this in here and then put this backing nut on here so that is a a specific Blickman TC adapter. If you don't want this whole piece sticking in, another thing you can do is we sell uh, inch and a half tri-clamp to quarter inch MPT low profile adapters. So instead of this recess here, it would just be threading this directly into the quarter inch MPT with a little Teflon tape on there. Um, so this is what adapts it to tri-clamp if you have, say, a rims tube or if you've got a tri-clamp port on your kettle already. And then the last thing that people seem to be very confused about is the thermal well. The thermal well replaces this backing nut. So you would take the, the gasket off of there, stick it on here, and then you can install this through the same hole in your kettle and the thermal well is actually uh, becomes the backing nut to the compression bulkhead you tighten that up real tight now your probe will then be isolated from the inside of the the liquid of the kettle at least with this layer of stainless so when you slide this in and bottom it out now your probe is sitting inside this sheath the reason why you might want to do this is if you, let's say, want to move your probe from one kettle to the next without having liquid come out of the kettle. Uh, in the standard configuration, if you pull this out, liquid will just pour out of here. With the, the thermal oil on the backing, you can remove that probe and this is still liquid tight. So. For people who want to have a single probe and move it between different devices or process flows, you do need the thermal well backing. Um, however, my preferred solution, if you really want to have the same controller uh, double duty on two different kettles, the way that I would do that is I would just buy a separate probe. I would buy a duplicate of the probe and a duplicate of the standard install fitting. And that way you can leave a probe installed in each of the kettles and then the only thing you move, say from a hot liquor tank to a boil kettle, is the electrical connector on the controller itself. So why is that? Well, I don't like the fact that the heat has to go all the way through this stainless through a layer of air and then into this stainless and then into the probe itself. So you're going to have a slight 
inaccuracy and a definite time delay between temperature changes when you use the thermal well for moving the probe from vessel to vessel. I'd much rather just install a dedicated probe because these are inexpensive. It's actually cheaper to leave the probes installed in their given vessels and swap the, the cable than it is to install duplicate um, because you're still going to have to buy an extra install fitting and you're going to then need two of the thermal well backing nuts so it's more expensive to do that. All right. Any questions, leave a comment or email info at brewhardware.com.